today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do a little DIY tutorial. So we're going to make today a wreath for the front door. Um, it'll be a great embellishment to your front door. It'll also be personalized. Um, and we're going to make a doormat for your front porch area that is going to be cute, it'll spruce it up, it'll be colorful and really fun. And these items you can give as gifts to someone that you know or you can even just make them for your first home. It is all really super affordable. Most of these items, actually all of these items except for the spray paint are from Walmart. You can get the spray paints from a art supply store or even just use spray paints that you find from Walmart or from um, Target, wherever you prefer to shop. This is just a grapevine wreath that you can get at Walmart. It was like $5. Add a letter L for my last name. We're gonna paint it a really cute color and add it in there somewhere and put it on there. It's gonna come out really cute. Um, and some ribbon that we got as well. This ribbon has the chevron uh, pattern on it. We're going to make a cute bow, wrap that around. I'll show you everything as we go. Um, another thing that you're going to need for this is going to be hot glue. So make sure you have your hot glue gun handy. I don't have mine with me right now, but once we get started, I will have that ready. Um, the next project we're going to use, we are going to make doormat. Um, this doormat, we're going to write a little thing on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're going to write something cute on there and it's gonna make your front door look great and perfect and you can pick any colors for the letters um, i actually have these things they're my husband's liquitex spray paint you can use it on pretty much anything they're permanent and i think that it's gonna go really great with what we're working with and check out the colors there's actually a light blue here as well so we are probably going to write um the word home on the mat we can you can always write like home sweet home whatever um, but it's a little difficult because you have to tape it off so make sure you have some tape as well so let's get started covered the rest so that doesn't get overspray. We're gonna go in with the orange spray paint and just color in or spray paint in this area and it's going to be an H. And this soaks up really well so it's not gonna take forever to dry. All right, on to the next letter. Okay, I went ahead and covered the H and taped off the O. We're gonna go in with the teal for the O. to overspray in any areas. And that looks like the M is done. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this blue color for the last and final letter, it is the E. And just go ahead and spray it. All right. And if you didn't notice, the Flagler Beach, Palm Coast, Flagler County, <laughs> real estate section i am working while reading about real estate i can never get away from it i love it so much let's get this e finished and that should do it for the e okay uh it looks like everything is dry the blue is still a little bit wet i'm just gonna go ahead and pull this up and Hopefully, we will have our letters. Let's do it very carefully. As you can see, your letters starting to form. Start the 
wreath. We've got our letter that's painted. We have our grapevine wreath and we have our hot glue gun, which is warming up. I'm gonna put the L uh, staggered pretty like this, I think, with the L part hanging down because when I hang it, I'll probably do it like a little cockeyed. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're just going to put some hot glue on the L or the letter that you're using. And I use like a ton of hot glue, that way it doesn't fall off. Like if it's windy and it's like banging against the door or whatever, I use like tons of hot glue. Um, be careful, it is hot. Ha ha ha. Okay. Go ahead and place that down and tighten it the best you can. If it's not on correctly, like tight, then you can um, put some extra hot glue on there. I'm just gonna press down for a second to make it stay. Should be okay. I'm gonna put a little bit under here and push down. That should hold it uh, there. Okay, so next we have our ribbon that we got and I'm just gonna do something really simple. I'm gonna do like a ruffled top. So I'm gonna cut about, I'm gonna cut a little bit extra than probably what I'll use. So I'm just gonna cut the ribbon. Set this to the side. And I'm gonna put the ribbon, I don't know if you can see, I might just have to turn it towards me. I'm gonna set the ribbon and start it here with a ruffle, but you wanna leave some extra hanging out to, we're gonna like cut it cute, like a ribbon at the end. So you wanna just first, where my finger is, you're going to wanna put some hot glue in that spot. And I wanna forewarn you, the, um, the ribbon has holes in it. So when you go to press down, it's gonna come through to your finger. So it's gonna be hot. So just kind of tap it and don't hold on for too long. I can kind of feel it sticky on me right now. So, and you just wanna give that a second to Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to make these little loops. Um, we're not gonna make a bow. This actually looks really cute once it's done because of the zigzags of the chevron. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and just make a loop and glue and then make a loop and glue. I'm gonna do the first few and then I'm just gonna speed up the process. you finish all your loops and they are dry and sticking you're going to want to cut the extra or the excess off of the top here leave a little bit extra make sure that it's tight on there that one feels a little wiggly still and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a tr uh, triangle here just to kind of make the ribbon a little bit fancier Finished product. Let's go hang it up and see what it looks like. <laughs> 